Now I do what I want. 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 What is going on, guys? It's your boy Savvy TV here. Back again with the freaking videos. Ready? Know what it is? And I don't know what that was. I don't know. I just. I don't know, but I'm hyped guys, it's Friday, I'm just trying to freaking get y'all hyped, like, I don't know, I just decided to do, like, a, a dramatic entrance, because, why not, okay, but, as you guys can tell by the title, today, okay, we're gonna be doing another story time, and I know you guys have been, I don't know, like, the videos, that they, they've been doing, obviously, you know, good, six, seven likes, you know, that's good, but, you know, obviously, like, we've been breaking 23 before, like, you know, I want to get it back up there, but, like, you know, I'm always, you know, I'm grateful, you know, but, like, you know, I noticed, I, I don't know, maybe it's because you guys are, you know, it's just like the same thing, back to back story times, back to back story times. But if you guys are getting tired of the story times, I have a treat for you guys. It will be going up Sunday, okay? I am actually going to the fair tomorrow, the South Florida fair tomorrow. So I'm going to be vlogging all day tomorrow and the video will go up Sunday. But don't worry, guys, I'm not, I'm not going to leave you guys hanging with no video Saturday. I am going to be doing a little prank video tomorrow. So, you know, we gotta keep it on the down low because we're gonna be doing a prank and that's all I'm gonna tell you guys. Um, I'm not gonna get into to what kind of prank it's gonna be, but you guys just have to tune in tomorrow and watch it. The video is gonna go up Saturday um, about the prank and then the fair vlog will go up Sunday. So that the, those are gonna be the videos for all three days um, for this weekend. So Friday, you know, obviously you're watching now, the story time, and then Saturday will be the um, prank and then Sunday will be the vlog. So. Let's hop into this video right now. This video is actually about how um, I kind of kind of try to shape up my own like edge, like my, my hairline, and I ended up it ended up like I ended up actually pushing it all the way back here, and I actually ended up having to go to school like that. So this is that's that's pretty much what the story time is gonna be, and let's get into the story time. Let's do it. All right, let me set the scene for you guys. Um, we are in seventh grade, okay? So I don't know, a lot of these story times like happen in middle school or have to do with school, but like, honestly, you guys are gonna wanna hear about this prank, okay? So obviously, you're probably thinking like, dude, you're in seventh grade and you're trying to cut your own hair, like, are you like mentally ill or like, but like, just hear me out. And <clears throat> I know a lot of, um, I actually, um, just, just a little background, like before I start, like, talk like describing about like you know what what had happened um i just want to clear some things up uh like a lot of people that went to my old middle school like they obviously they noticed it and they asked me oh what happened to your hair bro and i actually made up a fake story about my about saying like my cousin went to bar like my cousin um just got out of barber school and like he wanted to cut my hair and he actually ended up fucking it up but um that was actually a lie um because I was embarrassed to tell everybody that I actually tried edging it up myself and that and it ended up pushing up like back over here but let's just get into this and you know then we'll just get into that later but like let's let's go let's just we gotta start from the beginning because then it's not gonna make sense but okay so I got home from school one day and I was just like really really bored okay and then um I found like this like I don't know what it is like a, what is it called like a yeah it was a razor but and you guys are probably wondering like oh why do you have a razor in your house um I think it's cause like like from I think it's like for um the facial hair razor but like not the one for the nose but like the one for here where you can just like edge up a little bit like this um cause it, it, it's not the razor that you're thinking of like with the um it's not like where you take the shaving cream not that razor but there's like a different one like the one they used to clip hair like sometimes i just I, I would go like this to like trim out my or not i would but like my mom would kind of just go like this to like even out my uh, sideburns and stuff but um that's the razor i used to like uh, like trim my edge so I, I don't know i i got home from school one day and i went into the like to, to my bathroom to like you know go pee and i just take a look at my hair and i'm like dang like something's off like i feel like i could fix this that's where I went wrong. I said, I feel like I can fix this. If anything, you know, I know my mom knows, my mom and dad know nothing about hair, but I probably should have went to them first before I decided to take matters into my own hands. But I'm like, dang, like, I feel like I could fix this. So I literally take the trimmer and just start going. Mm, 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 mm. And it pushed it back about this far. 
like literally about this far and then you like in my head i'm thinking oh you know it looks fire like it looks good like oh that looks fine like it's like it looks good like I, i'm thinking in my head like oh that, that looks good i literally went downstairs that's the first thing my mom noticed my mom noticed my mom was like what did you do to your hair did you cut your hair and i was like no 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 and and she said what was that with a pair of scissors and like she was like she was like like kind of like confused on like why i would do something like that and i just kind of like because i was like embarrassed to even tell my parents that like i like because at, at that age you should like know right from wrong but like i'm just like i was a little like a little slow but um they they i i, I, I like oh my God, i feel like i stutter so much in my videos i don't know I don't know, I just feel like I try to get the story across, like, so fast, but no. Okay, so, eventually my parents, like, realized that it was with the razor, and they were, like, they were, like, just confused as to why I did it. My dad was confused as to why I did it, and then, this, that wasn't even the worst part, because my parents were, like, oh, like, you're gonna, have, you're gonna have to wait for that to grow back, and the worst part was that it's not like this was a Friday and this was heading into Saturday. Guys, this was on a school night, so you know what that meant. That meant I had to go to school the next day with my hairline like this, okay? Like this. And I'm like, oh no. Like, I, like in the end, then I realized, oh, I really like, I'm, I really fucked up. And I'm like, damn, like, I messed up. Cause now I'm gonna have to go to school like this. And oh my god going to school the next day was literally the worst thing in the entire world like literally that's what every and you can't wear you know like um hoodies or like hat because like if i if i could wear a hoodie like well you can't wear hoodies in class but like in the transition of class like i wore a hoodie anyway and in the transition of class like i would always go like this and i would just kind of like try to cover it up like this but like in in um once the bell rings and you're in the classroom they tell you to take your hood off so um, obviously I tried it anyway because I was too embarrassed so like you know I went to my first class just like this and I, I was kind of sitting and everything was Gucci at first and then my teacher asked can you please take your hood off and I'm like Fuck. so at that point you know I had to take it off but then I was kind of like trying to just go like this just trying to go like this but like obviously that's not gonna work because then my arm gets tired i have other things to do like i'm writing so i gotta pick up this utensil and that utensil like writing utensil and one thing led to another and my friends saw my hair and they all started laughing at me and it was like but like but like most of my friends it was like in a joke well because okay they didn't know that they like i said like in, in the beginning of this video they didn't know the reason like the real reason why or else they would have really really been laughing at me but i had a cover-up story like on deck like last like um not last night but the night before like to go back to school that i had done it and my parents like told me that you know you have to go to school like that right uh i had thought of a lie i had said that um my cousin just got out of barber school and he he wanted me to be my first head that he cut and like I, I i i just kept going with the lie i was like oh you know like i was a little iffy about it at first like i because i i told him like i was a little iffy about it at the start because like he had just gotten out of barber school and um i let him like you know do my edge and that was the lie i had made up i let him do my edge and he actually ended up like going this far back so like it, it was funny to them but like you know it wasn't like um like, it wasn't as bad because if they knew the real reason which they're probably laughing their ass off right now um like if they actually found out that i was the one that did it they would have been laughing extra hard but um yeah so that was that was a rough that was a rough few days until um because i think it was like a tuesday that i had like cut my hair so i had to do when like it was th i had to go three more days like with my edge like being pushed back like this and i was like Damn, man. Like, it, it was rough. Trust me. I, 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 it was bad. It was bad. And then the worst part was that, like, because, like, I don't really care what people say. Like, I don't give, like, I don't, I don't give a shit. Because, like, the only thing is, is that my, like, the school that I used to go to, like, their, like, the administration is absolutely stupid. So, like, if you curse, if you curse even once, 
it's like five CBIRs and you know like, like I, I'm, I'm probably exaggerating but like you know what I you you get what I mean like it's like it's not like you know any other school where like they cur you curse and then they tell you like you know oh watch your mouth you know no like in this school if you curse or said like any um any term or phrase that that was like bad to them they would literally you would literally be sent to the office detention at least a good three or four detentions a cbir and possibly even a referral it just depends on what you you know what you said so you know i couldn't even really like roast them or like art like i couldn't curse back at them like oh shut the like up and like like you know like, i couldn't even do that because then i would get in trouble with um my old school so it's like it was just a whole mess and i i, I don't i don't really know like it was and now that I'm looking back at it, I'm like, what a retard I am. Yeah, no, it was, it was bad. It was bad. It was bad. I don't know, man, but I, I don't know. I don't know, man. Hopefully, you guys enjoy that story time about me um, describing or just, oh my god, what am I saying? Like, I feel like I don't know, describing? Like, what? Hopefully, you guys enjoy the story time about me telling the story about how um, I pretty much cut my hair and my edge was about like right here like everybody that went to my old school probably remembers i'm pretty sure um but yeah and it, was, it sucked because i was in seventh grade and like the eighth graders would like they, they, they were they were constantly laughing it, it, it sucked okay so moral of the story is don't cut your hair you probably already know that but you know my extra slow dumbass needed a, a lesson on that in seventh grade rather than in third grade not get the memo i i don't know i don't know, I don't know. but hope you guys enjoy this uh story time um guys there is a prank going up tomorrow so i want you guys to stay tuned on my channel 98 subscribers okay we need two more subs guys so if you guys who are watching this video right now if you can find two other friends right now i would really appreciate it to just find two other friends tell them to check out my channel and if they like it enough they might subscribe you know just just find two other friends guys and um have them subscribe to me but like i said prank going up tomorrow and then the vlog which I'm actually going to be recording all day will be going up um, Sunday. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I don't want to take up any more of your time. It's when you avoid Savage TV. And I'm out, guys. Peace. Hey, mama. Mama. Hey,